ascending. Right. So now what you have to do, you need to bring the first slide like this. Okay. Then uh, like this, you need to bring one by one, but not now. What you have to do, you need to... Sir, uh, I have doubts, sir. Yes. If I don't have a video on PowerPoint, what should I do, sir? Okay, okay. I'll tell you. The first thing, you need to have some kind of uh, uh, text or slides. Any one first. Uh, it's okay. up to you which one you will prepare first. For example, you want to go with some kind of talk. Okay. So for that, okay. what you have to do, you have to record voice using your phone or computer or laptop. That is first step. In other scenario, you will make the presentation first like this. Then you will add the voice later. So anything okay, should be done at first, depending on your uh, choice. Okay. So in this scenario, first we made presentation. Then later we are going to add voice. Okay. So that okay, I am going okay. to teach you now. Uh, look at here. Now to add voice, you will have two options. One is, you know, sometimes uh, in your laptop or computer, you may not have good like good sound something like that okay good sound quality okay. in such case you can use mobile so usually in mobile we we get very good quality excellent quality okay so there is third option also third option is uh, you can have zoom meeting only with you nobody will be there just you need to conduct a zoom meeting open a new meeting in the in the zoom app you, they, there will be like you know uh, the, there you need to talk start recording and talk okay Andy? for example yeah. now whatever i am talking it is recording in the zoom okay Similarly, yes, what you have to do you need to open zoom app to record anything okay then start talking okay then i will go to my zoom folder okay you keep it open Okay, then go to Zoom. So look at here. Last time when we had our, I'll just take another class, uh, maybe this one. Last time when I had with other other students, in the Zoom document, you will find the recorded videos or audio file here. In the documents, Zoom, there will be there will be folders with the date. For example, date and the Zoom meeting title will be here. For example, IT training is there. This is the video recording with the screen. Okay. If you share your screen or if you appear, if you turn on your webcam, that thing will be shown here, including voice. But now in this scenario, we don't need that video because we already we are we are already having the scene on the screen. Slides we have. This is enough for us. We don't need the, the video. So when you record like that, you will get audio file also separately. Look at here, audio. This is single, just audio only. So what you have to okay. do, you bring this one, for example, I take this one to the, this one, for example, I go here, then import media, then I go to that part. Uh, here, I'm just doing some kind of shortcut. Again, I don't need to open this path in the clip champ one by one, but I can just click here. So I'll be able to select like this, then right click, copy, then go to Microsoft clip champ. I'm just pressing Alt tab to move to the open window. In the file name area, I need to press Control V. So I get that path. The file will not be open now, open now, but I can see the path when I click on open. So I'll just go to that path immediately. No need to do one by one from here, from here like that. So in the audio for this one. So I just choose here, open. Okay. Then it will be loaded somewhere, somewhere here. I think this is the one audio. So I need to bring it like this. Okay. Like this. Then what you have to do, uh, it's up to you how many times you record in the Zoom. My suggestion, what you can do while recording, you open the Zoom app, okay? So after opening the Zoom app, uh, one minute, really. uh, are you getting the options, for example, 
I think you know how to use the Zoom. I think you are using it. Okay, Andy? Yes. Yeah. In the, in the Zoom, when you are in a meeting, you will see a record button below. So, Daddy, you see this Daddy. one and open the Zoom, create meeting, click on record button and start talking about this one. Okay? Sure. First, for the first slide, for example, uh, I'll just talk something. Uh, dear colleagues, now we are going to see the report on our annual review. Something like that you just speak. Okay? Then when you finish speaking for the slide one, go to Zoom. There will be stop recording button. Click that one. Okay? So after that, what will happen? There will be a separate audio file will be uh, for the first part like where you start where you stop for that there will be separate audio file then immediately you will not see the audio for the second one or third one whatever you are going to because you are still in meeting but you just stop recording only okay now you can just keep it open that zoom back end okay now what you have to do you need to bring the Okay, for example, at the end you have some kind of extra thing. So you can cut like this. So I need only up to here. So what I will do, I will cut this one. Then this extra part I don't need. I'll just keep like this. I adjust the duration of this audio. Now I got slide and I got audio. Now the next step is bring the slide to here. Okay, now keep the playhead here. So you will see what is there on the screen. Okay, now again go back. Okay, still you are in Zoom meeting. You did not close the Zoom meeting. But what you did, you just stopped recording only. Okay, when you are about to start the slide two, again on Zoom, you click on start recording. Okay, then speak about this slide. Okay, for example, uh, now let's see. Okay, I'm just talking about the slide only. For example, okay, sir. Uh, okay. Now let's see what are the contents we are going to discuss in this presentation. Let's move on. Then, Allah, uh, like that, you can just say something about this slide. After okay. telling what you have to do in the Zoom, again click on stop recording. So, like that, finally, what will happen? You will have. Uh, for example, how many slides we have? We have 14 slides. Finally, you will have 14 audio clips. So that sequence will be there like in the sequence. So whenever you bring a slide, you bring the corresponding audio file and place it below here. And there will be some kind of extra part because, you know, until you close, it will take some time. So that part you need to adjust when you bring the audio. For example, imagine... This is the audio for second slide. But before that, you need to import all the audios. You will see one, two, three, four, five, like, you know, audio, some number, then audio, some other number. For each slide, you will have different, different audio files. Then you need to bring all these things and keep it ready here. Then to bring one by one, according to the, this one, okay? If you want, what you can do, you in the zoom you rename this one for example here slide one okay then copy uh, there will be another version like another uh, file for the slide two just rename rename all the audio files like slide one slide two slide three slide four okay so these things if you put it here it will be easy for you so slide one audio file goes with a slide one JPG file. So like that you will sync. Okay. Finally, okay, now we got this one. This is a, okay. This is slide one, slide one audio. Slide two, slide two audio. Okay. Now here we have some kind of extra part. So what we can do, we can delete this audio. Look at here. Uh, if I want to move right side, what I can do, I can move like this. See, uh, not this one, I think. 
Yeah, I think there is nothing. Yeah, like this. Okay, I, I need to click on zoom out so I can see from far, I can see more timeline area. Now I don't need this part. Imagine this is extra part. This is a recorded one uh, while I am moving to zoom and stop recording. So I don't need this extra part. I'll just click here, then put the play set, playhead in the proper position, then split. So this part will be separated, then delete it. So this is the procedure for compiling com uh, compiling the audio and video and the video parts. And so finally, you will have fruitful presentation. So later, when you have time, try to make your own presentation and show me also, or you can just note down the problems what you are facing. And uh, if, you un if you don't understand something, you can ask me again once you did the first project. Okay, then we will discuss. Okay, Andy. Now, uh, is it clear, Andy? This procedure, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, we will move to the next scenario. So, in the next scenario, what will happen? You will not make the presentation first. You will come up with only the speech, audio only. So, in such case, what you will do? Maybe you will have some kind of script in your paper or some kind of points which you want to discuss. Uh, sometimes, you know, you go to stage and you give speech, but you will not write the entire speech. What you will do? You will write the key points, the points Sub which you subtitles. want to discuss. Yes. yes sir. Uh, it is called not subtitles. It is called key points only or important. Okay, sir. Key points. Titles only. For example, you will explain something about uh, some topic, large information, but you will write only one title for that one. Okay, that is called key point. Like this, introduction, results from last year, team members, what's new, closing, like this you will have some kind of list. You will discuss, for example, team, you will discuss about team, then next, uh, suddenly you will forget, maybe, then you will see here in the paper in front of with you. Uh, you will you will see this what's me next. Okay, now we will talk about this one like that you start speaking. So you will have a nice speech. Okay, that speech you need to bring. But how you will record that one? The first step is making notes, key points. Then keep in front of you. It can be in front of your computer or type of text or whatever is there or you just make and some notes in front on the paper and just see and give records, uh, record the voice. For that, what you have to do, you need to, again, you can use Zoom. Because why I always recommend you to use the Zoom app to record voice. Because the reason is like this. Uh, if you record using any software like this or maybe okay for the it is okay if you have good speaker in your computer it will not give any noise but sometimes what happens uh, the computer and these uh, these softwares may give some kind of noise like sound again you need to use some third party applications to remove the noise so uh, even uh, if if i'm making some uh, tutorial videos like uh, presentation type videos I use Zoom for recording because you know what Zoom does? It will remove the noise. For example, you have somebody speaking at far. If you are using other software, that sound, that stocks may be recorded in your conversation. But in Zoom, that won't happen. It will take audio only from nearby areas. So you will not listen any for example, somebody is working, like they are doing some kind of construction work. They are making so much noise in the next room. That also won't be recorded in the Zoom. Okay. So that is the best option for recording voiceover. Okay. So you can also use Zoom when you are making presentation like that. So in that scenario, you will make script and you will record audio in the Zoom. Then finally, you will get the audio file in the Zoom folder. You don't need this one actually, but you will just need only the audio file from the Zoom. Then after that, okay, for that what you will do, let's go to the new project again. So I'll, 
back to home uh, continue with us so in this scenario again we'll choose ph new video then import audio, import media so i choose my whole recording it will be single audio or uh, it can be split also for example the talk was one hour but you have recorded for 15 minutes and you went outside then after that you uh, you made another uh, zoom meeting so maybe you will have two three audio files not a problem whatever audio files are there you can just uh, choose open and bring it here for example i bring these two files okay open then my two audio files uh, will be here uh, but why it is not loading only one loaded slide two yeah because uh, it is like you know copy of it that's why it is not loading but if it is a, if it is for uh, if it is really second audio it will load i think that's okay so here you need to bring the audio file like this so now look at the screen there is only one audio you don't have anything uh, to show it is just audio in this scenario okay now what you have to do you see any youtube videos about facts sunday let's see something i will open youtube now so here uh, this is my youtube home page so here i'm searching facts video about okay so when i type like this i got so many things facts video about science okay let's see this one okay so we'll get something for example okay eight mind blowing science activities and experiments see here uh, again there is uh, advertisement is coming but let me share the sound from the video. Share sound. Uh, remember, Andy, when you are recording something on Zoom, you need to choose share sound option to have that record outside, out for the outside people. For example, you are in a meeting. You are playing something like uh, how I am playing. You need to, uh, you need the audience uh, make them listen the sound so in such case what you have to do you need to go to more from zoom options choose share sound then only the audience can listen the sound properly from the system otherwise the sound will may not be proper okay let me play this one okay so here what happened how they made So in this video, they put just background music. But in our video, what we do, we do maybe some kind of voiceover only. Uh, for example, Bright Side, we open this channel, Bright Side. This is a famous channel for facts kind of videos, okay? So if you open this channel, you will see that examples. Which it's one is it? Bright. Bright Side. Bright Side. These are just for example. Okay? So don't touch me or Real AI, okay. So, let's play this. AI art? Sure, why not? Artificial intelligence is like a computer brain that can learn and make decisions on its own. Okay, now, the what, well, actually the thing what I was telling, first you need to have recording, place it in the Microsoft Clip Champ, then here, whatever you are talking, related to that info that information you need to bring the overlays it can be photo or it can be video okay in this video let's see what they are doing well some clever artists have figured out a way to use ai to make art okay so what they did they just put audio and they put some kind of video animations related to the topic so you yes, know it's also what we have to do we have to listen our audio and we have to bring something here to show. For example, you are talking about a team. So you may have your team photos. Then go to import media and bring those photos. 
So in such case, I have, I don't need to bring anything from my local computer, but in the click chart, we can find some photos. When we go to this content library, if you scroll down, you will see the photos section, images. So here, just for practice purpose, I'm bringing some images, okay? I put it here. Okay, uh, no, no, actually I need to open, then it will be there like this. Then I will bring it here. Okay. Are they from local computer, sir? No, no, no. They are from Clipchamp app and they, they give us for free for practice and also for using in the real, in the video. See, this is there. I am zooming in. Okay. This, uh, this photo I drop here then I need to extend like this. For example, regarding the first photo, I given speech, I, I have given speech for uh, 40 seconds. So I need to adjust the photo duration, okay, for 40 seconds. Then I started talking about something, okay. Then the scene uh, got changed. So I need to bring relevant photo here and I need to place. So what will happen, why, uh, how it will happen, you need to listen the audio and to place the playhead in proper position and bring the next photo. For example, you're talking something about this one. You bring the photo. This is just for practice. That's why I'm bringing the random images just to show how it works. But in the real presentation, you will have all the resources. Okay, so that resources, that photos, for example, you are talking about some kind of incident. You already gave the speech. Now you have the photos about those incident. So those incident photos you need to bring here. It can be video or photo, anything, and place it here. And you can extend the duration according to the speech. Okay, how much time you are speaking, that one. Remember, if it is photo, you can extend up to any duration. But if it is a video, you cannot extend like this because the video will play for maybe 20 seconds and 30 seconds and uh, later on nothing will be there. It is not a photo. If it is photo only, you can increase the duration because it's a still image. Okay, so that you need to remember. This time I will import some kind of videos. So for that, I go to content library uh earlier you asked me are they from my local computer no if they are from local computer here we need to use this button your media button to import our files okay you need to go to import media then bring the files from your local computer and open then they will be here but in this uh, example video, I'm not importing from my computer. I'm going to content library. Content library is, belongs to Microsoft Clipchamp. They provide us some free to use images. Okay. So I go back here. Then I scroll down for the video. So here we have categories. For example, here we have, uh, again, I go to previous step because I am in this category all images i don't want images i want to go back to get the video so go back then go to the video section for example you are talking about some kind of ai technology so you bring that one here okay here it is not coming because we have to enter into the category then we need to bring the video like this and place it here like like I mentioned before, I cannot increase the video duration because it is fixed. If it is photo, I can increase like this. If it is even slide, that is image, so I can increase. But for the video, what I can do, I can reduce the duration, but not increasing. Okay, I can reduce the duration, but not I, can, no, I cannot increase. So this you need to remember. So according to audio, you need to place the photos or videos, then you will move forward. Okay. So now you have all those things, Sunday. Now what we are going to do, we are going to do some kind of uh, additional things. 
you assemble the video. For example, I go here. Okay. So all these things I don't need. I cut. I go to split. Okay. Okay. Now I'll just adjust this one like this. So now I have the video duration matching to the clips. Okay. Until now we made a we assembled these things. Okay. Usually for any video presentation, we need to add some kind of title slide. Okay. And some kind of uh, credit slide also. Like who are doing, like, you know, at the end you will see presented by so-and-so some names who worked on the presentation or team members' names. So these two things you need to add. Okay. For that, what we will do, uh, the best thing, you can use the, you can make that title slide in PowerPoint or Canva. In our case, we use Can uh, PowerPoint because you are already familiar with PowerPoint. We'll go to PowerPoint again. So in PowerPoint, I got this slide. So you make some kind of title slide about your presentation. You make some presentation. So for that, we are not going to make a new one but I'll just go to template. So for example, I choose this one. Okay. Then I don't, I just, I don't need all these things. I need only the, the title slide and the ending slide. Only these I need now. So here I will type the presentation title and the presenter name I will type if required. Otherwise, whatever information you want to type, you can type, for example, date or place, Anything, whatever you want to show on the title uh, slide, you can type, you can include. But in this case, they have mentioned only these things. How to convert, how to make video using clip charm, video presentation. I can say video presentation. This is our title. Okay. So I just write present ending by. So like this, I just type, then I need to align this one properly because this is not aligned like this. So align properly, then relevant picture you can keep, okay, related to the topic. Okay, for now I'm not going, okay, if you want to change picture, just double click and in the picture format, you will see this thing. You can choose the picture from stock images or online or from local computer. Let's choose from local computer. Then I go to downloads. Earlier I downloaded some pictures. So I just for practice, I just use this one. So I got the picture here. Okay. So now my credit slide is ready. Uh, my title slide is ready. I need the credit slide also. For example, thank you. Then my name. Then email. Then here, uh, we are learning. This is my YouTube channel name. So like this, I can mention. Now, I need to get these things into image format because in Microsoft Clipchamp, they it accept images, image files usually. So we'll go to file. First is let's save this one because whatever you make, you need to have the original files also to edit in the future. For example, I just make here a folder, PowerPoint. PowerPoint class. Clip chart class. So I just put here. Title and credits slide. Okay. So I just saved the PowerPoint file only. Now I need to get the images. I go to file, save as, then I choose this PC. This time I choose JPG, JPEG. Then when I click on save, I get this dialog box. Which slides do you want to report, export? All slides, this one, just this one. So if you are doing only the current slide, if you are going 
to work only on the title side, just use this slide. But I want both slides, all slides. So I choose all slides. So here we got another message. Each slide in your presentation has been saved as a separate file in the folder. So this folder will be located in the same place where we saved the presentation. So let's go there. Uh, D, delete, clip champ class. This is our presentation. And here is a folder created by PowerPoint to save the JPEG files. It, it creates automatically. Let's see. Our uh, slide one is there, slide two is there. Now we'll go to clip champ. Go to the starting point, then we go to the media, then we'll import. So this time I go to D, delete, then this folder. So I need only the first slide now, slide one, open. It will be here. This one, you need to bring it to the starting point. Don't replace, don't do like this. If you choose like this, what will happen? This image will be replaced. Okay, don't do like this. You need to put at the beginning like this. So when you see that uh, green color line, you need to drop it. Then it will be adjusted. So your audio should also move like this. Okay. So now let's see. This is, okay, let's play. We have this one, title slide. Then we have the actual presentation. If you, this is audio related to the slide. But what if you want to add some kind of music to this? So what you have to do, you need to go to, uh, here we have content library. From here, you can get the music. For example, in the content library, scroll down, yeah, here is the audio, okay? So clip champ selects all content music. Music is like, you know, some kind of uh, music which we we can use for the whole slides or presentation. Sound effects such as like door sound, calling bell sound, those phone ring sound, those are small, small sounds. Those will be in sound. But for now, we need only music. So we'll choose something. Uh, let's see. Clip Champ selects. Here we have something. Let's play this one. If you like the music, what you have to do, you need to bring it like this, bring it like this. But better my suggestion, don't put it here. If you, okay, it's okay. You can put like this, not a problem. So it will take only that part because this slide, this audio is related to this one. It understand, you need only up to this area. So it places like this. But if you place this one in the down, in the below track, it will be full. Uh, the, the clip champ understood that you are going to use this music only for this slide. So that's why it placed only little part. Okay. So this I don't need. I will delete. it. Okay. So now we got the title slide and we got the this one. We'll go to the last part. Then we add the ending slide, like, you know, credit slide. For that, I go to your media. Then import. Slide, yeah, slide one, I think I did not import. So slide two open. I can import and keep it ready along with slide one, but I did not do that one. I'll place it at the end. Okay. And this I want to adjust the timing. For example, you can see here the duration. Okay. So I think uh, no, here I cannot see properly, but okay. From here, like one second, you can see the number there. This is one, 30, one, sec, one minute 39 seconds, one minute 42 seconds, like that. So how much duration you want, you can just put it here. And bring the audio from here. Same audio, it's okay. Copy, then put the playhead here, paste it. Then adjust the duration. Uh, sir, this uh, session will end in one minute. Okay, you okay. Can, if you have time, you can join again. I think we did not bring anything. After some time, okay. we'll bring something we can edit using this timeline okay so okay. Uh, in the last session we were discussing this your media so in the your media uh, your media section what we will have what will happen we bring the things from here then we place okay. it there. for example this is one of the training session if you want to edit you can just bring here then place it here 
So after okay, creating okay. here, you can start editing. So that editing uh, will do uh, later, but now I'm just explaining these things. Okay, I, okay. Uh, record and share, record and create. I think I covered all these things. Did you remember Andy? Like uh, if yes, you sir. record a camera, screen, audio. Audio, it is a new feature they added. So you can directly record voice over to the slides here. Recently we got okay, sir. Yeah. So you know how it works. For example, if you bring any photo or something, video, a video or anything, you can place like this and click on audio, then choose allow, then click okay. here, then start sir. recording. Okay, then start okay. recording about the slides. So okay. now it is recording. Once you are done, just click here, choose save and edit. Then that okay, recorded sir. audio will be placed here. Let me show you. Yeah, I think this is the one. So you need to bring like this, then start editing. Yeah, actually it is there, but it is very short one. That's why we cannot yes, see properly. So this is the audio part. Comparatively, video duration, the audio duration is very short. That's why we cannot see in a bigger view. When we zoom in like this in the timeline, when we move to the left side area, we can see this one properly. Okay. So uh, with this, you can record audio and uh, yeah, you can use uh, for your presentations. The next one, what we have, whatever we are going to uh, bring here, for example, if you need some kind of stickers or subscribe, these things, uh, it will be available here. You can bring it and do. Uh, after explaining all these things, I will make some kind of uh, presentation, then I will explain, uh, like uh, real projects, then we'll, we'll work on that one. Then next one, templates. Uh, see and uh, let's continue from templates today. So all these things we discussed before. So templates are like, you know, in the PowerPoint also, we discussed the templates. So if you open any template, you can easily make changes and uh, quickly you can finish the presentation. Let's see what are the templates are available here. For example, for YouTube, for Christmas, uh, slideshows, birthday, social media ads. So like that, there are some categories. When you are free, you can just uh, open one by one, see how they made. If you open and see, you will understand how they are doing, like, you know, how many layers are there, what arrangement they made like that. Let's look at one example. For example, I click on YouTube. Okay, when I click on YouTube, I got some, some uh, sample videos here. For example, acknowledgement of land. So this is a short clip. And this one, peaceful video intro. So it's a kind of introduction. Let's remove this one. I'm just clicking this video and pressing delete button. Now let's remove this one also. Just select and delete. Okay. La, at the end, there is one more one, one more thing. We need to delete this one also. Uh, now let's bring this template. See, uh, this is a template we can modify because it is already designed, but it's editable. So to bring this one, you need to click here, use template. So when you click on use template, it will be available here. Let's look at the arrangement and let me zoom in. See here, there are minus and plus. If you want to see these elements in bigger size, or if you want to see the timeline in closer view, what you have to do, you have to click here, zoom in. Then you can see the things clearly from closer view. Let's play once. Let's and let's see what is there. Uh, look at the arrangement and what they made here. They put some kind of video. <coughs> the video. Then they put this text. Okay, this text. Yes, sir. Then yes, sir. there is a small text. Let's do in the same way. We can also make one uh, small design like that. So for that, what we will do, we'll go to here, click on new video. We'll get like this. So to make similar one, 
we need some kind of uh, nice uh, background okay so background or some video you can get from here from where you will get from content library okay so let's bring something from here let's go to let's scroll down go to video section okay clip champ selects this is one of the category if you scroll down there will be so many okay for example this is very nice so let's bring this one to the timeline okay. let's play it is okay see this is very nice uh, video some some kind of uh, scenery and all okay in the template if you remember first there is a video then there is some kind of background music also so background music also will bring it here from where we can bring we can go to we can uh, click on no no not from here from content library you go back here then here the fill the videos uh, is filtered so close this one then go to audio okay from here you can see many things like you know clip chomp selects that means uh, they suggest some kind of audio files but this one music okay. this one sound effects but we in this okay. context we need the music not the sound effects so let's click on okay. music okay here there are some kind of uh, categories for example chill intro sad so which type of music you want you need to select let's choose piano okay then let's listen to it this music is nice okay so if i want to add this one to this video you need to bring like this and better you see drop here there is a, some there is some message you drop there like that okay after dropping make sure you align this one to the left side so starting place like zero okay now let's play the video is playing audio is also do you hear the sound and oh okay yes yes sir. so now what happened we played this one but the audio duration is more the video duration is less so let's yes. the same how we can keep the same just put the play head here try to go to the last frame of this video by pressing like this maybe you can press right arrow like this so you can zoom further for example like this you can zoom further maximum you can zoom so you can see very clearly this is the maximum we can zoom so here you can easily now what you can do okay this is the next frame the, the last frame of this one put the put it here then here what we have to do we have to cut this one how we can cut this audio use this split button then cut we got into uh, we got these two pieces so this one piece we can delete by pressing delete button on keyboard so now okay. our total duration is 10 seconds you see here this is yes, 10 seconds okay let's play one more time uh home actually that was not the home so when you press yes, home button on the keyboard you will reach to the zero time time stamp so this is zero okay. stamp let's play now in the template did you remember what next they added some kind of heading then subheading we will add the text yes, also so for that what we will do we will get some kind of nice quotation okay uh, we will go to google okay so motivational quotes like that we will get okay uh let's uh, go here okay okay see uh so we will have two lines and one is the quote and one is this one so we will have 
two text boxes similar to the yes sir yes sir video. so let's keep this one no need the number one we'll just break get this one because since this is saying we have to keep the quotes also let's get this one right click copy then we'll go to the clip chunk i am pressing alt tab to go there now we need a text box this is text box area so now you need to select a template for example you see just keep the mouse there and see the design whichever you like and whichever color you like you need to bring that one here okay so let's scroll down let's take this one or this one this is better so we will bring this one we will place it at the beginning like this and now press home button on your keyboard and see this is not the starting point this is not the starting so you need to bring it like this okay to the left side okay. now what we have to do just bring the playhead to the to this area and you can see the text now we need to edit the text how we can edit the text just click here in the top right corner you will see this uh, text one letter something is blocking on my screen okay so now click on text this is the text button to bring the to get the template and to bring it here but this is the area to edit the text okay so when you click this one you will have this dialog box here you paste that one so earlier it was five works now we will paste that one control v so we got this one but the problem is it is taking into single line so what we have to do okay. we have to break this one into contents for example you can press enter here like this then again uh, you have got to grab and we can press enter here so nicely we got this one still if you want make it bigger size you can make like this bigger size okay now let's keep this one top okay now we need another text box okay but this one how much time we keep maybe like uh, six seconds enough after that we will have the name okay so let's play uh, now i'm going to zoom out the timeline to see from far like this okay so this text i will extend up to 10 seconds duration same like this one okay now maybe after 6 seconds we can show the author name okay like that so let's bring the same text box or some different one so this time we'll choose this one this is another template let's bring it here place it here okay let's move to maybe 6 sec 6 seconds time stamp area then reduce this one adjust to this same duration now click here two times or not necessary to double click just what you have to do you need to go to this text area then get the author name or whatever you want to put there this one copy then paste okay we got this one but the position is not correct so you need to bring it here okay so now, until now we learned how to place the text from there okay but we can do something else see uh, when you click the text box there are something some elements some options here uh, here you can change the font for example scroll down and you can keep the font you like for example this one maybe yeah like that or Yeah, this is also good, but this is too thin. Pick. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, let's keep this one. Okay, now we'll keep like this. Then this one, okay, the name, let it be like that. If you want the name font also, again, go here and change font, whatever font you like okay so like this i'll put okay now uh, better to keep the same font if you want to maintain the uniformity okay like this now let's bring it here let's play one more time 
but the duration is uh, not same so we'll keep like this let's play everything one more time so like this uh, we can have some kind of uh, some message oriented videos then now click on export when you i'm just telling we just made like 10 seconds video then this is a project file project file of microsoft clipjump this file is only for us for editing and creation but if you want to send a video and if you want to yeah. get the video from this file you need to click on yeah. export button here. Then okay. choose the quality. For example, if you choose uh, 48 pixels, 48 p, uh, 480 p means uh, pixels. Uh, this quality okay. doesn't good. So you need to choose little higher, but 720p, see here, description, smaller file, fast export. This is like a medium quality. But if you want to have nice high quality, you can go for 1080 pixels HD quality. So we'll get the high quality picture. Still, you can use, uh, you can uh, import, you can export in uh, larger size, like, you know, 4K Ultra HD. But okay. you see here, we have this, uh, like, you know, premium symbol. That means we have to pay, then it will come. But not necessary. This 1080 pixels is more than enough. So let's click this one. Then, See the press percentage, it is exporting now. While exporting, if you want to give a name to this video, you can just give here. For example, motivational quote. So we'll put today's date. So while editing, we can give like that. After finishing the 100%, this video will be available in Downloads folder. Let's click here. So we got into this folder, then double click. This is our video. Yes, Andy. So like this, you can make uh, simple, nice videos in the quick time, okay? Uh, so sure. I explained one uh, using one template only. So later when you are practicing, uh, you see the templates and try to do in the same way, like practice. For example, first open a template. Then le let me show you, but uh, I will not do, but I will tell you how to proceed with the homework. Okay. Go to create a new video. Then go to okay. templates. Okay. Then choose any of, for example, birthday. Okay. So you have some kind of birthday message or something. Just see some samples, how they made. There are three samples only, but just see. This is like invitation. So in the, in the previous one, what I did, I did not use the template as it is created we we made new yes, but in, if you don't because i want to teach you how to make from the beginning uh, that's why i taught yeah. but it is it is once you learned it is not necessary to do from the beginning by taking new phase like that uh, for example you have some kind of invitation you want to make so you can use this template directly this time we'll use this template and make some changes for example add click on add to timeline time then you will get all okay. these things then instead of creating new you can just change the details scarlet's birthday party so here click here then go to text then type for example you write some name for example um Shishis. Something just I put random random name. She says birthday party like that. Then some video they put. Okay, that's let's keep this. But in case if you want to use your photo, your children videos, children photos like that, what you can do? See, this is the video clip. 
this is the video clip okay this is audio clip the background music okay we are seeing in this area let's play for example if you want to change this video to your own what you can do you can just uh, from your media you import the file from your camera or somewhere then bring it here for now i'll take something from your content library only then i go to i just go to this video visuals in the visuals okay so i need to go to video section to get some kind of video i can search here for example uh cute boy okay so so in your case you will put your original photo so i just get this one but here the problem is this is uh, paid i think we cannot use this one but it's okay let's me because we searched so we got this one no problem for example i choose any other video for example happy i think these are not the videos let's go to videos again visuals in the visuals area we'll see videos let's go to any category for example christmas is there okay here also we got so many paid uh, this is free so imagine this is your video if you want to bring it here see do like this drag it on to the clip like this when you place here what will happen the old video will be replaced with the new one with the same duration let's play and see the new video we got new. and this is another video again if you want to change to your own video you can so we have maybe uh, small clips you can keep there then you are invited okay let's keep the same no need to change the time if you want to change this which is time date and time here in the right side when you click text you will see this text edit and uh, edit he can edit you can edit and change the font and here you can change the size even the color you can modify if you want to keep in different color like this okay okay so okay. these are the things here position position means like if you click left it will be left side based on this one you can but this time let's keep center like this okay uh, these are the basic basic editing things and so uh, when you are practicing just have a look templates and uh, some templates you can use directly just to change the content but some templates use those ideas and try to make your own videos based on the same templates and ideas uh using blank slide like you know blank video template blank video only okay now uh this text templates i think we covered you can practice and if you have some doubts you can ask me again now let's go to the next part this one we already discussed uh, because we made some kind of text and we brought so here you need to select the text and bring it here wherever you want keep and by pressing t this text icon you, you will be able to change the things you can change here change font change size change color and position just very simple options only now let's go to the transitions uh, do you know about transitions and no sir yeah actually transitions are called you know uh, when you see any video between scenes there will be some kind of animation okay that is called transition for example let's play this one now after completing this video when we move to this video it is coming directly but sometimes we see some kind of designs so how to put those kind of designs you need to go to transitions and choose the design which you like for example you just put the mouse there then you see the design then bring it here place it between those two slides like this in center but if it is not allowing you to put what you have to do you need to click here like you know maybe you need to click wait let me put again let me try again actually due to some uh, problem it is not allowing me to put here but you can put it here 
Okay. Uh, let me try again. Let's, let's bring this one. No, some technical issue. It is not allowing. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see. A minute. Okay, let me try to add here. You, uh, now here I can add. So just some technical issue, I think. But now I can add. See, I brought that one to this place. Now I will play. See that movement, that kind of animation that is called transition. Uh, transition is like a kind of animation which we use between the slide. Between, you drop between the slides. Then you will see that kind of thing. Here there are some things you need to remember. If you want to change this transition, you need to click here. Okay, you need to click here. Then right side there is transition tab. This tab. Then you will see here. The duration you can change from here. For example, if you increase the duration, uh, animation will take longer time. See that uh, animation takes longer time. If you reduce this one, it will be faster. See now that animation between slides, it came faster. Okay. But uh, anytime if you want to change the transition, if you don't like, then again, you can have change here. Just to click here, then keep some other tran transition. For example, let's keep this circle one. Okay, I think it's already changed. So yeah, done. Okay. Uh, one minute. I think that was gone. No problem. We'll put again. So let's bring it here. Okay, later if you want to change, you just click here. It will be changed automatically. Now let's play. This transition will play now. So whenever you want to change, just click here, that's all. Then see the transition. Change. So in the transition, what are the settings are available? You can change the transition. You can remove the transition. And also what you can, you can increase the duration. If you increase the duration, that animation uh, will show for longer time. Uh, this is about transition only, very simple. Okay. Now, the next one is brand kit. This we cannot use here in the free version. Uh, who are paying money and who are getting the upgraded version, they will see this brand kit area. But here, you can add fonts, you can add colors, you can add logos. So, it will be in the system. Then you can, every time you can drop on. Actually, the thing is, uh, you can have more control. For example, if you take any company, uh, commercial, corporate company, they use some kind of same brand colors. So those colors, they will set here and they use regularly. Uh, for them, it helps them to keep the same combinations, color combinations, same logos, same fonts like that. But this one we are not using now because we are using only paid free version. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, whatever we... See here, we discussed and the next part is this area. Let's see one by one what is here. This is a preview window I already discussed. If you want to uh, show auto caption, sometimes if you have any uh, text, you will see, for example, uh, let's try this one. Show auto captions. That means if somebody is speaking, those uh, speech will be displayed there. Let's experiment. For that, we need to have some kind of video with a speech. Okay, let's go to YouTube. Then we'll download one video. Do you know how to download YouTube video only? No, sir, I don't know. Yeah. For example, you like some kind of music or if you, you like some kind of audio speech or video, whatever you want to use in your video presentation, you can get the YouTube video and you can download and you can use it. Let's see. Um, this one. Uh, we'll type like, you know, motivational speech like this. Okay. We'll get from Sadhguru. Sadhguru.
Okay. So here uh, there is a speech, there 12 minutes. 